Have you ever been stuck in traffic and you're wondering what's going on? Why are we slowing down? It's called a phantom traffic jam. They happen when drivers hit the brakes for no good reason. But technology could change that to keep us moving. CBS 2's Dave Carlin reports. A long row with a red glow from brake lights. You're in your vehicle and you're in a jam. And frustratingly, the cause is unknown. Why are we in a traffic jam? Sometimes there's no reason. Though. Traffic jams for no reason, absolutely. Especially in New York City. They are phantom traffic jams, not caused by a wreck or any road construction. Just humans being humans, a little distracted, causing a lot of misery. When traffic gets dense enough, if one driver makes a small mistake, the driver behind them, by the time they recognize that mistake, has to overcorrect or overreact. And that amplification gets passed on to the driver behind them. Civil engineer Dan Work headed a research team at Vanderbilt University, the research funded by the National Science Foundation, concluded phantom jams can be prevented. The group found success through technology. You already have it, uh, automated technologies on your vehicle today. He says a car's adaptive cruise control when given information about the vehicles in front and behind allows a car to react right better than us. They were able to uh, mitigate the impacts of these phantom jams better than human drivers were. So that shows that the technologies on the cars today may already start to help eliminate these phantom traffic jams. The researchers used a course not in a real-world jammed environment like New York City, with driver-controlled vehicles and self-driving models. The Vanderbilt researchers say having a single self-driving car on a road reduces congestion by being a kind of good influence on at least 20 human-controlled cars in the same area. They say because humans will never be perfect drivers, better technology could bring us closer to commutes that don't drive us crazy. Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News. The researchers warned self-driving cars are not necessarily the best tools to reduce traffic congestion. They say it's better to convince more people to walk, bike, and use mass transit.